I'm more disappointed in the Pistons because not only is this a roster that is at least they've been together, like their core has been together longer. Like this Wizards team is like blown up from last season. This is year three, technically year two for Cade, right? Like obviously he was hurt most yeah. of last season. Um, this is, you know, Jalen Duren's second season. Killian Hayes been there for a while. Jane Ivy second season. Like I'm expecting to see progression. That progression is not going to make them a playing team. I'm completely aware of that, but this team looks bad, and it's it feels bad because Cade is starting to suffer because of it. Like not even just his on court performance, but like I'm starting to see fans make that turn of like, ah, were we too high on Cade? Which a is unfair again because this is really only like his second season. I'm saying this is too early because y'all did this with Scotty in year two, and now look, he's looking great. So like a, give it time, but b. Bro, what do you want him to do with the spacing on this team? Like, Kay nice. Cunningham is not no elite perimeter shooter. Like, he lives at being a whatever he like six six or six eight um, six six guard who can use his frame and his body to get downhill and like work out of the mid range, get to the basket. Like, so you need spacing for him to do these things. But Monty Williams is continually running lineups with. <laughs> And it's no fault to the, like Asar, but like he's not the best shooter. Killian Hayes, who we know is not a good shooter, like and you obviously have whoever's running the center at that moment, whether that's Jalen or Isaiah. Like, there's a lot of negative shooters on the floor for your point guard to be Kate Cunningham. That is a problem. So there are moves that need to be made, not to necessarily make them a contender. Like that's way too far down the line, but to get them to a point where you can like develop him properly develop this team properly because you're really hindering them right now because of the way this team is constructed and i still don't understand the Jaden ivy killian hayes stuff either like it gets too many minutes bro killian hayes gets way too many minutes bro Jaden ivy is coming off of the bench he's a lottery pick from last year he was a it starter for most of last year granted like i said Cade was hurt but and you know what what's hayes changed is. you know what killian hayes is so it's like what is the whole point of i don't know i don't get that but to, to me it's the exact same thing that you said it's really the fact that the roster is not in a position to where Cade can develop based on his skill set like right too many non-shooters on the court so how do you expect this guy to have the space to work and like you know drink get to the basket get to his spots if the paint is if everything is clogged, if you had if you don't have to worry about like two, three people on the court at one time, and then himself is already not the best shooter. So it's like right. how 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 do you even expect him to you know develop or like produce when that's the situation he's kind of put in? And it's kind of tough because it's kind of like that with a lot of like younger players, especially like highly drafted players. I mean, obviously you're going to a bad team, but the rosters aren't constructed in a way that you could even, even if you guys are losing, at least like show signs that you're going to develop in this way. Mm -hmm. And that's also why I agree with you, why I think it's weird how people are like not out, but like starting to feel that way when you don't give guys fair shots. Like, and this is with across sports, bro. Like people be get, be get put in horrible situations. And then when they suck, it's like, Oh my God, he's a but like with Bryce Young right now. It's like, bro, I was just about to go there <laughs> as the Panthers owner, right? There's no way you watch what you saw on Sunday and then say, yeah, I'm going to fire the head coach and the running back coach, and that's going to solve our problem because our O-line can't block because none of our receivers can separate. And even if they do, they're just not good. This is not a good receiver room. It's not, bro. So it's like you can't, you can't take a guy, put him in a bad situation, and then call the guy a bust or, like, are starting to question the guy when it doesn't work out, like, I think people also get too, like, blinded by those guys that can come in and overcome situations, like Luka Doncic. It doesn't matter what his situation is. Like, he's going to put his numbers up. He's going he's gonna to do his thing. Mm -hmm. Like, not everybody is that guy. Even if Kate is, like, you know, can be a superstar, not everyone is the guy to where, like, you put him in any, any situation they're going to produce. It. Not right. everybody's like that. So you give him an actual competent roster around him that suits his skill set. And then I guarantee you it'll be a lot better than what's going on right now. Exactly. And, again, look, credit to Asar. Like, I think Asar is 
playing at a phenomenal level right now. Like he's shown elite defense for an NBA player period, but especially to be a rookie, like the tools that he has, I'm very excited to see what Asar looks like in year three or four. Cause like we might again be looking at a guy who I don't even know if it's just like, he might not just be a consistent all defensive team guy. Like he could be a defensive player of the year type of guy yeah, it's um, elite. because of his defensive impact and multiple phases of defense, like not just at the point of attack, but him being able to be a pest off the ball, be in passing lanes, protect the rim, like mm. rotate over as a help side guy. Like he does everything at a very good level. So young, it's only going to get better. Um, but yeah, look, and the other thing, again, that people have been getting on Kate on is this assist to turnover ratio. Cause like he's averaging seven assists, but he averages almost five turnovers a game. Well, yeah, it's tough when every time you drive, teams are throwing three and four bodies at you. Because mm -hmm. we're not concerned about killing in this corner. I'm about to say, who are you kicking out? in that corner. Like, <laughs> it don't make it, sense, bro. It, it, we we got to like contextualize box scores. And like you have to understand that. Okay, this is what like okay, this is what the stats say. But if you're watching the games, if you go back and look at what's happening, it's it, there's nothing that Cade can do here. It's not the most ideal situation for him. So yeah, he's gonna have a lot of turnovers because to get to his spots, teams are gonna throw a lot of bodies at him because they're not concerned about the shooting and the spacing on this Detroit Pistons team. And so that's why I'm disappointed in them because. I was just expecting some type of progression. Again, I wasn't saying that they're not going to be a lottery team. They don't have the talent to be much better, and that's okay. But that's where they're at in their rebuild. But to be in a spot where you've lost the thir 13 games straight, bro, this team should not have lost 13 games straight. And I'll, I'll shoot it fair because same thing. Spurs is on a 13-game loss streak. Honestly, if you're in the NBA, you should not be losing 13 games in a row, bro. Nuts. 13 games straight. You can't get one win. Come on now. Teams are not even taking you seriously. You can't like sneak a win. Like you can't like <laughs> you can't steal a win off of somebody. Like people know you suck. Like they come into right. the game, like, yeah, we got the dub. You can't like catch somebody lacking. It's crazy. Yeah. 13 in a row is and like again, like you said, a lot of these are against bad teams. Losses to the Bulls and the Trailblazers. Bulls again. Uh they're getting blown out by any type of decent team they play, um, 30 point loss to the Raptors, a 26 point loss to the Pacers. They play the Wizards tomorrow. That's going to be the toilet bowl. I'm actually excited to watch that. That's <laughs> the first, first Wizards game. I'm, I'm excited to see because somebody got to go off, right? Somebody got to win, bro. They're going to, yeah, somebody got to take the dub. If I watch this game and everybody just shoots bad, they're going to tie. Gonna be so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have faith in, in either of these organizations and the Wizards and the Pistons to, like, not turn around this season, but, like, eventually make stuff right? Because these are two organizations that's known for, like, just being bad. So The Wizards, I don't know, bro. The Wizards is interesting, again, because it's, like, this is so raw and early in their rebuild where it's, like, they just tore this – they tore, tore this last year's team down, like, a couple of months ago. Like, yeah. Um. So I feel like it's a little too early to call there. But like you said, they don't have the best track record because when you think about it, you have a big gap after John Wall and Bradley Beal and you got a big gap before John Wall <laughs> and Bradley Beal. There's a lot of times where his team was not in a good spot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not like this is a, a new organization. So they do not have the best track record. Um, for the Pistons, Bro, I hope, bro, because like I said, the t there's t so much good talent here between Cade and Asar and Jalen and Jaden Ivey um, and even I'm, Isaiah Stewart, too, like Marcus I'm Sasser. Marcus Sasser, yeah. Right. <laughs> like, there's a lot of talent here. Y'all just have got to get the puzzle pieces that fit to get them developing right and just, like, turn it around. So I'm I'm hopeful as an NBA fan they get that fixed because I'm I'm a big believer in Cade I still am um, because I've seen what he can do and they bro we're just coming off of the you know Team USA at the the FIBA World Cup before they went when they were playing the select team and those are just talking about Cade Cunningham was dogging Team USA mm -hmm. 
the talent is there, bro. So sure. they got to get the pieces around him. So I'm hopeful that they can sort it out in Detroit. 